What's up everybody? Welcome to the sneak peek of Age of Empires Mobile. I was able to get my hands on some videos of the early stages of the game. I wasn't able to actually play the game, but I have a lot of new material for you guys. So we're starting out with a few cutscenes or cinematics. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at another one real quick. guys so what do you think what's your first impressions what i'm getting out of this is it's probably not actual gameplay but very very nice cinematic cutscene whatever you want to call it the detail is is really nice so i'm impressed by that but also let's start talking about what this game is and what it means for the franchise what we think about it so i think it's pretty cool that there's a mobile game coming out I have used to play a little bit of Clash of Clans back in the day, never really too much into mobile games, but I think uh, it's, it's a cool way for people to get introduced to the franchise that may not know the franchise, or maybe people used to play Age of Empires 1 or 2 or 3, they're all pretty old games now, maybe they used to play them back in the day, and uh, this could be an interesting way for them to get reintroduced to the franchise. So I think the game itself has a lot of potential we've seen very successful war type games on mobile um so i think it can be pretty successful in itself and i think it's again a really nice way to either introduce or reintroduce people to the franchise i think it can be a gateway <laughs> gateway type of game to get them into maybe aoe4 aoe3 whatever you know and I think it can only be a positive thing for the franchise in terms of no matter what you're a fan of, um, 2, 3, or 4, or Age of Mythology. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know how much I'm going to play it. I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of mobile games or even like social media. On my phone, I try to stay off my phone and uh, stay busy with whatever I'm supposed to be doing instead. But regardless, it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to give it a shot. So those are just a few cool cinematics. Uh, let's now take a look at some scenes that are more specific to a civilization. So for this video, I picked the French. Let's take a look at what seems to be their home city. Maybe similar to Age of Empires 3 or maybe Age of Empires Online. Like I said, I haven't played the game. I have a limited amount of information about it. But we can kind of take a guess and and see what, what all this means and how it's gonna play out. And uh, there's also a unique French unit and a hero. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next video. Alright, so we showed quite a bit there. Let's start from the back uh, going to the beginning. Let's, so at the end there, it looked like that was Joan of Arc, a hero. We're not quite sure what the role of heroes would, will be in this game at this point. Um, a little bit more about that in, in a little bit later in the video. And then you had the throwing axeman, the French throwing axeman, which looked like a really cool unit. Again, the cinematic, the animation is like really cool looking. That was a great video of the French throwing axemen. And then um, you saw their, what I am calling their home city. Looks like it was maybe aging up or leveling up. 
Not sure how that'll be played out in this game or what the role of your, your home city will be. My guess is it's going to be pretty similar to Age of Empires Online where you did have home cities and you could build them out, um, but they didn't really have much function at the end of the day. So some interesting videos there. Now what we got next is a little bit more details about the heroes, their roles, and how they might affect the game. Let's go ahead and take a look. There's Might, Armor, Strategy, Siege, and uh, values for that, Stamina, Troop Limit, Level, a um, whole bunch of different things here. So you get upgrades and you get a little bit extra boost. Okay, you can see it's going up increments of 5%, it looks like. And these numbers get pretty high, so it looks like it will have a big impact on any gameplay or fights. So there's Unique Units, Cataract, for each hero, it looks like. There's a lot of things going on here. It's hard to read into this. It reminds me a little bit of Age of Empires Online. You had advisors that could give you bonuses, but also um, access to special units. So that might be a very similar role uh, that these heroes play in uh, Age of Empires Mobile. So yeah, it looks like that's going to be a significant part of the game where heroes will definitely have a role and definitely impact the game and potentially i don't know how i actually don't know if this is going to be like a 1v1 thing or you play against like the ai in a campaign type thing or if you play multiplayer or how it's going to play out but i wonder if there will be like group like where you can't face an opponent that has a significantly higher level uh that's unclear at this point but levels probably will have a big impact on fights so now let's take a look. We're getting more into the gameplay footage. So in this uh, next section of videos, we'll have footage of your city, maybe home city or MMO type city that, that stays there and you just can look at it in your home screen and doesn't really impact your fights, but you just build it out however you want. Uh, and then we also have a, a video with constructing buildings and mill moving some units and some actual fights. Let's take a look. So that was pretty interesting. It looked like in that last clip that you're actually in a fight commanding units and sieging the, your opponent's base. And that actually looked like what I was referring to as a, their home city. So that actually looks like it will be played out. Maybe you can raid an opponent's city at all times. Uh, unsure of how that's going to work. But in the video, in the clip before that, we had some units moving on. what looked like a, a large map and a home a city in the background that looked significantly smaller so it looks like you can path around a world map potentially 
and the you could tell the units were navigating around that gold mine and it looked like they were also being directed uh, by the player so it looks like you can navigate around the world map freely so that's that's a bit interesting we also had some villagers constructing a mill and it was showing that we can assign extra villagers to that that's uh interesting mill is a very important part of any age of empires game it's a basic building that you build early on I'm not sure if they're going to just stay in that building and farm like forever or if how that works out but interesting to see some of the buildings being constructed but let's go back to these fights here so it, there was some trebuchets we saw one army pushing into the base looks like it was the chinese base that was being attacked and you can see units using abilities during this fight and waypoint markers um so Pretty interesting. So I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are on the game at this point. It, uh, we saw a decent amount of what seems like gameplay, some uh, some video clips, some cinematics that look amazing. The game itself, if we we're looking at these waypoints and assuming this is how you're going to be able to command your units, it looks pretty nice, especially for a mobile game. Um, it doesn't look like you'll be able to select individual units, but you do see groups of different units. And... I think it looks pretty good. I'm excited to give it a try and see how it plays out. What kind of what kind of game it's going to be if you're going to be playing 1v1s, if there's going to be rankings or if it's just levels and hero levels and stuff like that. I want to play this myself. I definitely want to give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. So, I'm going to send you guys off with two more cinematic uh, videos here that include some actual unit commands in them. Um, it looks a bit like a cutscene, but it also looks like they're actually commanding units. It looks pretty exciting. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Oh!